Glad to be with you. The company behind Connect, that's the unemployment system that failed thousands of Floridians during the pandemic, is now defending its actions today in the just newly released Inspector General report that came out this afternoon. IT investigator Kyla McGivern has been tracking the problems and the push for accountability, and today she's digging through that new report and what the company is now saying. We pick up this story from March when we brought you the findings of the Chief Inspector General's preliminary report on the Florida Department of Economic Opportunities Unemployment System. Here's a quick recap. This was the review of Connect Governor Ron DeSantis called for in March of 2020 after an unprecedented spike in unemployment claims due to the pandemic. In a letter to the Inspector General's office, Jonathan Satter, who oversaw DEO during the pandemic, described staff working 80-hour weeks for months on end, punctuated by COVID outbreaks, bomb threats, shooting threats, and callers threatening suicide and homelessness. One point that I found to be just shocking is the fact that the contract that Deloitte was uh, 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 selected for was not actually fulfilled. The review found Deloitte's contract with the state for Connect in 2010 mandated at least 200,000 users be able to get on at the same time. But the testing was for around 4,200 users, not 200,000 as the contract required. In response to the report, Deloitte has now defended itself, saying it met the requirements of the contract for system capacity, arguing 200,000 concurrent users is different than 200,000 simultaneous users all on at the exact same time. Deloitte says the unheard of capacity would have cost the state another $10 million or so at the time. The company has told the I-Team they are sympathetic to the challenges some Florida residents have faced trying to access unemployment, but Deloitte finished work on the Connect project nearly six years ago after the state accepted the system. State officials have a $244 million ask to overhaul Florida's unemployment system, a request the governor hopes funding from the federal government can address. If you're still struggling to collect unemployment money, we haven't forgotten about you. Every week, we continue to send dozens of names to DEO in an effort to connect you with help. Online now, you can send us your information at abcactionnews.com slash rebound. We have sent the state more than 27,000 names so far. I'm IT team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you.